The story is entitled Neil Armstrong's Space Adventure in a Galaxy Away from Earth to a Place of Aliens. As observed in a galaxy far away from Earth Neil Armstrong an astronaut with the help of the space shuttle and spacecraft visited the moon for the first time. Neil Armstrong also observed that both the moon and other planets had strange humans called aliens popularly known as scarecrow living in these mysterious places such as the moon and some other planets. The aliens were noted to be afraid as a cheeky super Hunan being shrink in all the planets within the galaxy. The aliens were also noted and known as gremlins in other parts of the world. They were also worried that it wouldn't be long however till superhumans arrive and shrink their beloved homeland. They searched almost both high and low looking for some help, they even resulted in traveling to the planet Earth as noted that it is believed that only humans would be able to help them. Luckily enough, they found a kind caring bunch of humans who were shocked that the superhuman was up to his old tricks, and they wanted to put a stop to him in order to save the galaxy. Other humans also decided that they wanted to travel to space especially the moon and other planets in order to help the aliens. They however wondered almost how to get there and what they would need. Again, the humans knew an astronaut called Neil Armstrong who once traveled to space both the moon and other planets. Neil Armstrong the astronaut knew what the humans would need so they called him, and he gave them such a good advice. Neil Armstrong, the astronaut told a gathering all about his own travels to space including both the moon and other planets. The humans decided that Neil Armstrong's spacecraft was an easier option to use in traveling to the moon than building a rocket as that would take weeks. They again got to work and within hours had their traveling devices ready to travel to space especially the moon and some other planets. As noted before they could take off in their spacecrafts they decided to stop off at the space station as William Smith had told them that Eddie Murphy his friend had told him some other information about what actual trouble superhumans were causing in space. The astronaut including William Smith traveled on a train to the space station, where they were being greeted by Eddie Murphy as a respectful gesture always undertaken. Eddie Murphy also told them that his satellite had recorded the mischief that superhumans were up to and he could see the aliens almost fleeing from their planet and the moon in search of some sort of help so that humans' visit is of no surprise to them at all. Eddie Murphy gave the humans some extra power to fly their spacecrafts and space shuttle into orbit. Again it wasn't long until all other humans were dressed in their space suits and almost sat comfortably in their spacecraft and space shuttle. Eddie Murphy also an astronaut by profession announced the countdown 1, 2, 3, 4, to maximum 10, and then blast off upwards. Also whilst in the spacecraft and space shuttle the humans clung on tightly as they had never ever felt a power like this before in their life. They also zoomed out of the Earth atmosphere and were observed and seen entirely in space. The humans also chanted dot we are going on an expedition hunt where we are going to find a cheeky one in life. As noted after many hours spotted experiencing noises and disturbances it must other planets and the moon where the aliens live thought the humans. They also aimed and decided to travel to the planet and the moon. They then traveled in the spacecraft and landed on the moon and other planets were discovered with their very own eyes that aliens were living both on the moon and other planets. Also the astronauts discussed with the aliens some of whom were called cyborg, Terminator, Robocop and Dino about what actually superhumans had alone within the galaxy. However what superhumans had done actually in the galaxy is the aspect of invention and innovation in producing more technology. Others believed that it was the alien cyborg who helped in producing ammunition and guns that citizens use in harming and killing themselves. Cyborg is an immortal alien, so after his invention of guns and ammunition all over the world, he never considered the side effects to humans but instead the result of what that particular gun or ammunition can actually do to all humans all over the world. The astronaut saw almost three flashes blast past them that includes a green one, red one and a blue one. Also the astronaut wife of Neil Armstrong made some attention to space news report and she realized her husband with some other astronauts were in space visiting the moon and other planets. His wife was very excited and amazed because she knows that her husband was going to bring back to their home country fame and wealth amounting to a huge sum of $1 million which is taken and deposited into bank vaults to raise interest. Other aliens and averages were spotted flying overhead on the moon and other planets and they were noted to be very smart. Again the perfect time thought these humans whether they could contact these aliens and other averages. 
It is also noted that both the aliens and humans work together to bring about innovation and invention within countries all over the world. It can be noted that the invention made by these aliens together with humans is always marvelous in our own sight. Finally, it can be noted that aliens and other humans such as the astronaut that arrived from other planets and the moon helped in the discovering of the internet and the invention of some cars such as the electrical cars and the limousine comprising of the black Lincoln limousine. Lastly the alien marketplace is the dwelling place of all aliens within our planet and the moon.